Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Pisces, you guys got flamingo spirit. Embrace the in-between, number 26. What's interesting is that I feel like a mastery. I feel, I mean, an eight is balance. It is a, a, like a number of balance. And this is making an eight. So I honestly feel some sort of mastery here. I feel... For some of you, it's like you're just entering this sort of place and for some of you, you're leaving it. That's what I'm getting with this. Some of you guys are like entering a time period of in-between and some of you guys are ma like have mastered the in-between and are leaving it. Um, I feel like there's more of people that are mastering it, but there are people entering it right now. But you will leave a master. Like you're going to leave this period of in-between as a master. And then, yeah, we have a 10. So there is a completion here. Um, maybe this in-between had to do with someone else. Again, this could just be you. But this period of in-between, like you're not going to be able to leave it, I feel, until you master it. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like you can't necessarily just like learn everything you need to learn in a day and then be like, yeah, I'm done and then leave. Like, it doesn't work like that. It has to be something like ingrained within you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It has to be something that you learn the lesson, but to the extent where, you know, like in Japan, when they master something, like they spend their entire lives mastering something. I don't know if you guys have seen that documentary about the mastery of sushi. I forget his name, but he like spends his entire life mastering sushi basically. And it's, you know, it's like, the rice has to be a specific way and the way like everything has to be done a very specific way right and sooner or later it becomes like a form of muscle memory you know what i mean like you don't have to wonder you know like how to do it it's not a struggle it's like a part of your like cell you know what i mean like you already um it's muscle memory it's already like ingrained within you and that's what i'm feeling with this cycle like before the cycle is to, to truly end the cycle you have to have the mastery um, or you'll always kind of be in this in-between. Do you know what I'm saying? Or you'll always have to come back to it and learn something new. So it's like, I feel like a lot of you guys are leaving it. And with that comes a lot of health. With that comes some sort of spiritual lesson that has ended. And also health. Like, um, it's like when you get into this cycle, it's very difficult. But once you leave it, you realize like, I feel like you're going to give yourself props. Like, you know, you're going to be like, wow, I can't believe I did that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, or what the, from where I came to how I'm leaving the cycle is very different. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, um, you're entering as like a novice and you're leaving as the master. That's what I'm getting. This again could be you, this masculine energy. I mean, we have the Ace of Cups with him. So he also came out in Capricorn's read. So you might have Capricorn in your chart. But I also feel like this could be for some of you um, embracing the in-between had a lot to do with like maybe not having someone around in your life or learning to like heal from the relationship in your life. Do you know what I'm saying? Like this in-between, I think that's how this masculine plays a role into this. But we're going to pull more cards. But yeah, I feel mastery, Pisces. I feel completion. And I feel that you should be really proud of yourself. <laughs> so let's pull cards. Pisces I definitely feel like there has been a mastery there has been some sort of completion in your life and I think you're moving on to different things but I think you're doing it in a different way than someone else that you know right I feel like spirit wants to congratulate you right like this is my card for spirit and they're sending you like I was like what does spirit want to tell Pisces and they gave them the temperance it's like the end they gave you temperance, which I feel like is saying, again, 
it's like a mastery, it's an achievement, right? Like if you could get a gold star, if you could get some sort of medal, you would be getting it right now because there's been a balancing of your energy and it wasn't easy. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like you're leaving the cycle with the achievement award of like being able to have mastered this. And what you're mastering, I feel like, is not looking outside yourself anymore for the truth, right? Like you're not looking outside of yourself for someone to like give you love. You have it for yourself. You're not looking outside of yourself for um, someone to complete, complete you. You feel completed yourself. There's an, a, like an uh, achievement here. And I feel like it's a big achievement because a lot of people never can complete the cycle in life. Like I know, you know, a lot of people depend on their spouse or their boyfriend or their girlfriend. They depend on other people, you know, like it's like everyone has... I feel like people they rely on but Pisces I feel like because of the cycle you will never have to kind of rely on anyone ever again <laughs> it's giving me like that V for Vendetta vibe right like she was always afraid and then he put her through her worst fear and then she became she was never like afraid again right and it was like a very painful thing to have to learn obviously it was like very traumatic to learn to be like self-sufficient and to not be afraid anymore um, like again she went through her like worst nightmare basically um so she so she would never be afraid again and he wanted to gift that to her and i feel like that's kind of like what the divine's doing for you it's like gifting you something that you needed um again you could have chosen to not do it though like i we always have a choice but you chose to do it um and some of you are just heading into the cycle how do you know if you're headed into the cycle you're gonna be at a five <laughs> you have every single five here we have the five of coins, we have the five of swords, we have the five of wands, and we have the five of coins again. We have four fives. So how do you know you're in entering into the in-between? Like for those of you who are entering just now, you're gonna feel like a challenge, you're gonna feel a conflict, you're gonna feel like it's not easy, you're gonna feel all these things that are like, again, and even the tree is a five. Yeah, so how do you know you're entering that the cycle with the five, and how do you know you're leaving it with the 10? So again, some of you are entering it, and some of you are leaving it. I feel like I'm talking to someone who's kind of leaving it. But again, you can choose whatever you want. I mean, this is good for you to know like what's coming for you in the future then, right? Like if you are able to stick it through, if you're able to keep going, if you're able to keep working with spirit. Basically, this is work with spirit, right? Like working with yourself um, and working with the divine, right? This is like ultimate ultra hermit mode, right? <laughs> um, and it's like basically how to be like self-reliant. Like you're never going to have to, like I can't express it more, but it's like you're never going to have to look outside of yourself for any of these answers that you seek. Like you're finding them all within, right? And it could have been, you know, I feel like there is someone else here. Again, I feel like this is you, but I feel like there also might be a masculine energy here as well who um, maybe chose, I feel like, a karmic here with the queen of wands in reverse. Maybe chose somebody and that was not you. And that was kind of how you got pushed into all this challenge and you got pushed into these fives because like maybe you weren't necessarily chosen with the karmic, with the queen of wands coming out here and the four of swords, right? It's like somebody may may have not chosen you. Maybe it was this masculine. Again, that could be you, but I feel like that could be someone else. Um, and I'm getting with them choosing someone else. Look how it elevates you. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it could, it could destroy you or it can elevate you. And I feel like it's, elevating you you're ending up with the high priestess <laughs> and you're getting yourself out of the fives and then this is like one of my favorite cards this eight of coin like look how abundant she is like she's holding a pearl like she has found the treasure do you know what i'm saying and the treasure was all along within herself and that's why i really like this reading because it's like all your dreams can come true but it's like you're not gonna depend on someone to give them to you you're gonna do it yourself do you know what I'm saying? Everything that you need is like right within you. You don't need anything outside of yourself ever again. Like this would be the craziest, it's a crazy energy to have to do it, like be alone for a while and have loss and have people again make you question yourself, but you're not gonna question yourself ever again. That's what I'm getting. Like you're not gonna feel the need to question yourself. It was only other people that made you question yourself. Like I feel like you were pretty sturdy on your own or maybe in the past you weren't at all and you depended a lot on other people. There was like maybe even a codependent energy with within you where you're like you needed other people to tell you you were doing a good job and you needed other people to show you that they loved you for you to love yourself. And it's like, that's not a problem anymore. <laughs> You know what I mean? Um, you have the Ten of Cups in reverse with the card of you being abundant. That's what I'm saying. You had to lose a lot to gain all this um, perspective, like all this percep 
all this knowledge and yeah you do have the knowledge card yes so yeah to gain all this knowledge it could have come at a, again it's around the fives and it's around the ten in reverse so again they pushed you into this like in between right so that you could learn something and whoever it is that's here is learning the lesson and not have and someone has not only learned it but they have mastered the lesson which means you can leave this cycle now like you can get out of the cycle you're done with the cycle pisces like for whoever this is you're not you're not gonna need to go back into the cycle because no one can really tell you now you'll be like oh you're not good enough well no i think that i am you know what i mean oh um it's kind of reminding me of like <laughs> again it's like if you feel like you're doing your best and you feel like your best is great and no one gives you that recognition that like you're doing such a good job like it has to come from within like this is my card of, of again like everything just happening for you and everything being good for you but it's also like a, a vibration that you're giving out because you've mastered this energy it's like you don't need anyone to tell you're not relying or you're not codependent on anybody telling you like oh i love you or oh you did a great job today do you know what i'm saying it's like no i know i did a good job or like yeah i know that i'm this this and that like i don't need anybody to tell me that do you know what i'm saying The weird thing here about the ending of this read like that i just don't really get is that this is like me feeling like you don't have to look outside of yourself for anything like this is you accomplishing the cycle but there's someone here that's not that like there's like you you did do that but someone here did not we have like two different energies here we have someone here who like i feel like this is you who was at a crossroads, who had a decision to make on where they wanted their life to go. Again, do I stay in the in-between or do I go and like hook up with somebody else? Or do I go, like, do I keep like moving around or do I just stay in the cycle and try to figure the shit out? And I feel like if you figured it out, you stepped out in a page of swords energy, right? You got out of the confusion and you started, like now you have the ace of wands and the king of swords. Like there's a mastery, there's a completion. That's why I'm getting with this. And then there's someone here who's not doing that. So I don't know who this is. It's weird though. Like they're completely, they're running away. Like we have two cards of like literally moving and running away. And then they're running away, but like to 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 not the truth, right? Like to, dis to, the, to lies, right? Like they're not headed in the right direction. They're headed towards, you know, maybe what you want to hear. You know what I mean? This is, this is again, maybe some of you have the choice right now of like which way to go. And obviously this seems a lot easier like to just run away, right? And just to leave. But what I'm getting with this is like, you're never gonna see what you need to see if you don't stay in the cycle. See what I'm saying? Like you have to stay here to see this. And then for others of you, you did stay in it and you're like completing it. And it brings you the Ace of Wands upright right with the king of swords which is again i feel like you seeing the truth throughout everything you seeing like your potential you seeing your how your vibration like affects you and like if you're at a high vibe and you're believing in yourself and you're not necessarily depending on anybody it's like gonna bring you more prosperity than when you were like relying on others for shit do you know what i'm saying it's like it's like it's like basically um it's it's anything in life right like Maybe a lot in the past you used to depend on people to do things for you and then you just learned how to do it yourself and you realize like you did it the best out of anybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you, you always did it better than anybody else. It's kind of like what was the need or purpose for anybody else in my life? Do you know what I'm saying? If no one is going to literally give me what I need and I'm giving it to myself the best way. You know what I mean? It's like if you're the best at it, then why not just get it from yourself? You know what I mean? And I feel like that's what you're learning. So for some of you who are entering the cycle, um, you can just keep going around in circles if you don't master this. And I feel like that's kind of most people in life um, who are just running away from this energy. Running away from the in-between, running away from the work, right? It's kind of like spiritual work, to be honest. It's work within, it's work for yourself. But like nobody likes to sit by themselves and work on themselves. Most people like to just go out and have fun and like do whatever the fuck they want to do. Nobody like wants to sit and like do the hard shit. But that's what I feel like somebody here did, Pisces. So congratulations. Again, and Spirit is saying like you have literally balanced yourself out. For whoever it was that was a little codependent. Whoever it was that was a little bit like, you know, dependent on a lot of people for shit. Um, now you don't need anybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like every single hand belongs to you. You can like do everything yourself. You don't need anybody's help anymore. Again, you're never gonna have to look outside yourself for anything. Um, it, it's like it's like now it's now for someone to come into your life is gonna be 
very easy and difficult at the same time because now it's like you're not asking like what can i do for you it's like what can you do for me <laughs> you know what i mean no like what can you do for me sir you know what i mean or ma'am you know like i don't i know that i have a lot to offer but what can you do for me as opposed to before where it used to be like what can i do for you so that's the difference in this energy this is like you running around saying what can i do for you right not seeing like the the truth about who it is that you are and the value that you have and then this is a totally different energy where it's like no like what i bring a lot to the table what are you going to do for me <laughs> i freaking love this let's pull divine feminine for you pisces congratulations i love that you got segment i freaking love segment i mean i love all the divine feminines but i personally have like a relationship with segment just because um I mean, it's personal shit, but I really like segment. And then you have segment, the red lady. I am pure strength. I honor my anger by giving voice to it. Yeah, I just feel like they're trying to say that you have like built yourself up in the cycle, that you are pure strength, that like any anger that was like coming from the past. Um, I think you're mad at yourself a little bit too for like letting people kind of maybe even take advantage of you in the past right and not really seeing your own value in the past right but you don't have to blame yourself for that energy pisces because i feel like that's a lot of environmental shit um like again like who your parents were and how you were raised and you know the type of love that you received and shit like that like that was the way you kind of learned and i think like again there's no point in looking into the past too deeply for like why um things were the way they were <laughs> you know what i mean um because you don't need to look anymore again it's like it, it's like you were created like you had no choice but to be what you were at that time by how the circumstances in your life like arose right but now you have like the power to like i kind of feel like somebody like building a dam in the middle of a river right like you're so powerful like the river is running in a direction that you can't really stop the river will always run in that direction but you were like okay how can i stop this flow right because the flow it's like i don't want the water to keep going in that direction but how do i stop it it's literally a whole entire river going that way and you like literally built a dam so yeah that's what i'm getting here like that's how powerful you are you stop something that like maybe even the divine i feel like the divine always believes in us but i mean you have like devil energy out here and you have four fives out here so it wasn't like your conflict or challenge wasn't it again it's like a river stopping a river from flowing stopping an ocean from flowing like it's not easy like you literally have to put something like it's it's maybe even close to impossible and that's something that you did pisces so for whoever this is it's like the mastery I, I just feel like spirit's really proud of you. Like, it's like I, that's all I keep getting. And I, to always think of yourself as someone who's so strong because not everyone could do that. Do you know what I'm saying? And not everybody will do that. And there's someone here that's like running away. I, again, this could even be the person that you were attached to in the past that like will never, that will always run towards the, will always get the wrong conclusion or run in the wrong direction, right? Because again, they're looking for shit outside of themselves whereas you're not so it's like you took yourself off of that you like you you literally now are at such an energetic level where you're not near you can't really be with this person ever again because they're over here and you're over here do you know what i'm saying it's like now you wouldn't even want to be with this person so anyway pisces yeah you can like uh look up segment and see like how you feel about segment but yeah <laughs> that's what i'm getting pisces i love you i hope this helps and i'll see you next time bye